I don't feel like she's mine enough. Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're gonna take a closer look at the Ultra Boost 1.0 chalk slash cream colorway. So these originally came out a few years ago and Adidas recently retro them a few weeks ago. So of course these were one of the most hyped Ultra Boost 1.0 colorways. People were paying around five to six hundred dollars, even more depending on the size, just a few months ago. So now that the restock went down, these are actually sitting for retail at a lot of shops. Overall though, it's pretty much the same exact pair. I'll get into some more details in a little bit. But honestly, these are an amazing pair of shoes. They look really, really great. And had they been limited, they would have sold out and resold for a lot of money again. But Adidas made them super available to everybody. So with that said, let's get into a more detailed review of the shoes. So the box is just like every other Ultra Boost box from the 1.0 to the 4.0 as we have like this yellow and white box. Getting into the label of the shoe, it says Ultra Boost LTD which stands for limited and then we have a picture of the cream Ultra Boost right here and on this one we say the EPC inside tag is also there and then these are a US size 10. As we get into the shoes the first thing we want to take a look at is the EPC code that's inside. So this is what it is pretty much. This is what Adidas has been doing with their shoes lately. All right, so getting into some of the details of the shoe itself. So one interesting thing that I noticed from other YouTubers and other reviews was that they were completely different from the OG. But in my opinion, these and the OGs are actually very similar. There's a few things I noticed that were different and I'll get into it right now. So the first of which is that the laces on this one are actually a cream color. As you guys can see, now on the OG, they were like silverish gray color. So that's one tiny difference. Another difference is like these cages are a different shade of cream. However, if you don't have the OG and these right next to each other, you won't be able to tell that. Like even if you do, you probably still might not be able to tell. But so that's a little bit of a difference. Another thing that I noticed. So actually on the OG, it did have the continental outsole, which was something I initially thought it didn't, but it actually did. Uh, but the torsion color is a different color from how it was on the OG. So, and the last and main difference that I noticed on these shoes is of course the insole. They're doing the big boost lettering on the newest Adidas Ultra Boost models plus these retro. On the OG pair, it was like um, Ultra Boost Endless Energy, like how all of them were. But yeah, other than that, everything else is the same. Heel cup is the same. The tongue is the same. The overall prime knit pattern and color is virtually the same. All right, so let's get into some of the details of the shoe now. So the first thing I'll start off with is the toe box. As you guys can see, it has a regular Ultra Boost 1.0 toe box. And the rest of the pattern, of course, is reminiscent of the 1.0. No changes there. And as you guys know, a lot of people actually prefer this pattern of the Prime Nib. Or the rest of the Ultra Boost patterns that have come out. And in my opinion, the 1.0 is the best as well. Getting into the cages, we have like this plastic like feel to them. And that in my opinion is a lot nicer than the rubber textured ones they've been doing on the recent models. And then on the lace eyelets again, we have like this cream paneling going throughout. So really dope there. Getting into the cage, we have Ultra Boost written in two different colors. So the Ultra is in silver while the Boost is in gold. I like that contrast that they do on the Ultra Boost. It gives it like a premium feel to it. Moving towards the medial side of the sneaker, once again, we have the cream cages along with the lace eyelets. Getting into the tongue, we have the Ultra Boost logo in a cream color. I like how they made it all cream instead of like changing up the color. Big fan of that. I know it's like a subtle hit, but it really does make a difference. As I mentioned, we have a full continental outsole along with a black torsion system. Really glad they actually put the continental on this because it's a lot more durable and you know, you could pretty much wear these forever. Nothing really happens to them. Now, my honest thoughts on the shoe. They're really nice. I would recommend you get them for retail. You can even get them for under retail. On like StockX and maybe some other third-party resellers. But I think it's worth it. As I mentioned earlier, they were going for about $500 before they restock. So yeah, it is definitely worth it. Especially if you like the colorway. The good thing about the cream colorway is that it's very minimalistic. And you could wear it with white, black, blue. Like like it would go with any color and being a comfortable ultra boost, you can never go wrong with that. So yeah, I'll just give you guys one last 360 look at these sneakers and you guys could judge for yourself. Once again, I'm a big fan of these. 
Really glad they kept it true to the OG. Didn't switch up anything really. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Ultra Boost 1.0 Cream Retro. Once again, this is one of my favorite Ultra Boost 1.0 colorways. And we'll see if Adidas brings back some other hype colorways in the future. As you guys know, they already brought back the CMY Navy Multicolor and the White Multicolor along with these. And I think they'll be bringing back some more next year, so stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more. And thank you guys for watching.